Hey everybody, Boggs and Adola here, and welcome to, uh, let me get the case, Hyperdimension Neptunia Mark II. That's a game. We're going to be taking a first look at Hyperdimension Neptunia Mark II. This is a game by Nippin' Itchy Software, or NIS. They do a pretty good job at making a bunch of cute girls wearing slutty outfits, and I'm a big fan. Is that guy saying his name is D-Bag? Yes. Uh, we're currently in the menu of Planet, or Planet Tude. Tune. <laughs> Alright, so what you've got here is this is like a social networking game. First of all, first off, realize this game is extremely aware and self-referential. Um, you play as, you play as one of many girls who are basically game consoles. Uh, the main girl, this girl right here, is the Wii. Really? Yes. Um, and if you don't believe me, where is it on her? Did I take it off of her? Uh, her default hair piece is a, uh, Remote? Is, is the Wii controller. So, yeah, there's her name. Her name's Nepgear. Oh, wait, maybe she's not the Wii. I think she's an older thing. Anyway, so you've got, <laughs> you, you can see your characters here, Compa and IF. Compa is the computer, and uh, I can't remember what IF is, but, but basically each... So Compa is obviously best. Yes. So <laughs> each one of these girls are, they're, they're basically a video game, or a console. Platform. And And the purpose of the game is to beat back the gaming industry. Um, How do you mean? They're, they're like the like the shitty like the game companies are making shitty games and you're gonna whoop their ass for it. Yeah, more or less. Um, oh, cool! I, lots, I'm behind this. Lots of panty shots. One. Jesus, just one long panty shot. Um. So now. What's that on her leg? Oh, there's a Wii on her leg. Oh, really? Uh, her yes, the little thing on her right leg. I wouldn't call that. Uh, a Wiimote. That's not a Wiimote. Never mind. I can't remember what game console she is. She's an old. I don't one. know. But um, maybe she's nothing. I actually. Should wow, that is cute as hell. I should love this game, and I yeah, don't. you were saying that earlier. This looks, it's an RPG. Yep. You play Animu girls. Yep. It's cuter than hell. You dress them up. How do you not love this? It's kind of a tactic style this game. This is practically masturbation bait for you. And, and I'm telling oh, really, you, really, you move in motions. Yeah. Is she a giant hypodermic needle? Yep, that's Compa. Why? Why well, doesn't she just break everything? Win automatically. Is she your white mage? Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> Is there anyone that's not a white mage? Let me put it that way. Um, yes. Adola loves white mages so much. So this is an interesting t battle system. I don't think I've ever seen a game with this. I've got all kinds of problems with it. It has incredible frame rate issues. I can see that. Um, it's the music is just absolutely horrible. Who's that girl? She looks like a PlayStation console. Who, this one? No, the one with the blue. Uh, that's IF. Really cannot remember. You're not very helpful. Well, I You're supposed to be the guide introducing me and the nice people at home. And and what I'm telling you is that I just really did not play this game. Um, I bought it because, you know, Hyperdimension Who does Neptunia have? Mark 1 was terrible. But it sold strangely well, so they just basically redid the game and made it a proper video game. Um, so, okay, what do you not like about this game? It's, You've gone over the reasons why you ought to like it. Yeah. There, so, why do you not like it? You said frame rate, sound... Um, pretty much everything's just kind of weak. I mean, alright, look, you've got partners here, you can... You pair them up, and then they do neat things. I mean, you've got... Descriptive as hell, right there. Yeah, you've got equipment, so you can you can change the way shit looks on them. I mean, this is this, this is, is you right all up over. my alley, and you love nothing more than dress up games. Yeah, and I'm the first person to admit that. It's, Man, that skirt is short. It's referential towards um, towards itself, towards the video game market as a whole, and it's just it falls short. Is it just the gameplay is not good? Just really not very good. I mean, as you can see, this is this is pretty much it. The storyline is just really upsettingly weak too. Really? Uh, I want to like this game, and, and and if you think that you can get past all the hangups that I have with it, I hope that someone else can enjoy all these delicious manual panty shots that you can evoke. 
but I can't do it. I can't do shots it. shots for days. So I noticed that the, the overworld is kind of like Persona, where you start fights by attacking the enemies or getting attacked by them, and then you go into the battle. Yep, yep, yep. Which I'm okay with. I'm still not getting it. Like, you mentioned the little minor... What... Other is by and large minor things. Is there just the gameplay just not work for you? Is Man, there just something big that just in, just ruins it completely for you, or I'll, what? I'll continue to show you. All right, so we yeah, go ahead. we've we've explored this little area. This yeah, this kind of boring. Well, uh, this is MMORPG looks like a tutorial looking area. Boring world. You just got a rot from a flower. Yes. Now that's I'm sense. Just trying to think of how I leave this area. Um, I probably have to leave through a leave area. Oh, yeah, the leave area would help lead to the area. I'll, I'll show you the over the overworld, which I also should like because what I really enjoy it. What is that chicken having a seizure? That is a horse thing, and it is being my Horse chicken? Ass. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I mean... You don't stop with the panty shots, do you? Oh, unintentional, but no, I would never stop with them. <laughs> panty shots for days. And her panties match her socks. Wow, what a pervert, Boggs. I never noticed that. <laughs> yeah, like, bullshit, you didn't notice that. Um, I don't know, man. It's just... It's weird to have experienced a game that was basically designed for me huh? and just left me feeling so empty. Um, you've got... You, you've got different places on the map, obviously, that you can go to. Um, you've got... Uh, for example, plant, planet, tune. Um, you come so back here. So this is like the hub city. This is the hub city, and what you're looking at is the social networking that they all use. Okay. Um, you got it's quest based. I mean, you have item synthesis, which I absolutely love. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just not, it's not there. It's not there. You're not describing this at all. I don't know why you don't like the game. I'm what, right all here. Right, how about this? How about this? We'll run through this dungeon here. Okay. And tell me if you had fun after having done it. Well, you're the one playing the game. I'm pretty sure there are games you had fun with that I just didn't necessarily because you were playing it and I wasn't. So, combat is pretty much this. Um, and that's it. I mean... It is kind of... Odd, this mixture of turn-based and not. My turn, isn't it? Like to a degree, it's kind of cool because it's like you have a move action and a combat action, like D and D style thing. But it is a little bit odd the way you just walk up to things <laughs> like that up against the barrier. I wish that someone. I feel like it would have been better if they just gone all turn-based combat. I wish that someone could have sat down with me and said... I think on Final Fantasy style, I think it would have been better. And, and said to me, this game can be good, you just have to know how to make it fun. Because everything I've experienced with it is just subpar. It's got these big, sweeping, empty dungeons with nothing I really to do. I did notice that there's a lot of background yeah. here, but kind of empty. You've got really upsettingly poor character development. It's... So you don't like the story? The story is just I know that's a big hang-up for you, because you're a huge story person. Yeah, I mean... I it's... like good stories in games, too, but I can, you know... Some games have stories, some games just don't, as long as it's fun to play. I mean, this has been a quest. I, I've gone through and collected... That was the whole thing? Yeah, I, did you have fun? This is the dungeon? That was the dungeon. Okay, that doesn't even seem finished. Right. I mean, that's... this. this so whole... the combat, and the combat system, do you do anything other than just walk up to it and attack it? There are I mean, do you, skills. Do you use like magic and special abilities and there, whatnot. There or? are, but why? Wow. You don't need them. Yeah, I mean, there there's some free DLC stuff like right here. Um, <laughs> I like the way it's shaped. Up. Oh yeah, yeah. The the world is looks like. I mean, look look at these fr look at the frame rate issue. Like this is just that doesn't bug me too much. Here. It's like, unfinished. It's, it's just. I mean, so yeah, frame rate issues are problematic. There were, I hated them more in Bayonetta. Because Bayonetta was so much about how it looked. Here I could have a much easier time getting over that frame break. As you can see, we've missed every attack because we are not supposed to be here. Oh, really? These guys too high level for you? Oh, definitely. You wouldn't think so looking at them. 
There you are. Oh, balls. Yeah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I get that this game's supposed to be cutesy, but shouldn't they at least give you some indication of how strong the fuckers are? And, and I mean, that's Hyper Dimension Neptunia Mark II. It, it's one of those games that you go to GameStop, you see the cover, and you think, I don't, I don't want to let the cashier know that I want to buy this. But you do. But I do want it. And you, then, you've never hidden that from the fucking cashiers ever. No, but that's because... You, go, you, you asked them how many times about... Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku, Project Diva F. Well, that, that's because I have all the confidence in the world. Most people <laughs> don't feel that way. I mean, and that's just the thing. At the end of the day, this game just felt really, really disappointing. Do you feel like the game there on that little thing would be better? Probably. I think that would be a you better game. You do get to play that. It looks like it would be fully turn-based. Yeah, I, it's... Which I think would be better. So, like, in combat, it's, uh... John Jones references before a dominant theory, dominant strategy theory, where you just, if you could just attack something, you just do it. You don't use specials if you don't need it. Is that what's going on here? So far, I guess so. I mean, I haven't, I haven't felt anything interesting. Um, man, I really, I really want to sell this game. I want to, because it looks awesome, it feels interesting, just not. And I mean, I hate to have a first look that's just mostly negatives, but I really feel like someone should hear about this. You're going to want it, you're going to want to see it, you're going to want to play it, and it's going to leave you empty. Left me empty. And it brought a lot of stuff to the table that I wanted. Um, would you like me to try anything else? I don't know, what else is there to do? You're the one who owns the fucking thing. Exactly. What else is there to do? I mean, I mean that that's kind of the showcase here. What else is there to do? We can go... So it's just these one-room dungeons? So far? What do you mean, so far? You beat well, the game? no, I have not beaten the game. I, I was bored out of the game. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, and and that that speaks volumes too. I got a pretty low tolerance for entertainment, or a pretty high tolerance for entertainment. And, and if I'm I don't bored, think I, either of those things made sense either way you said it. So look, there, defeat defeat that creature. Okay. Collect Nep Bull, which is obviously Red Bull. Yet. I mean, <laughs> it's it's just stupid. I and mean, the humor's cute, and it's God, it's just such a shame. It's like a bunch of ideas guys, idea guys got together, had an interesting idea, and then threw it to some 12-year-olds to program. Because then it's just, there's nothing here. It's terrible. So if I took the art assets for this and made a proper traditional RPG... It would be much, much better. Okay. Oh, and just get rid of the dungeons. I'd rather play this game as a movable visual well, novel. If it was dungeons, I would make actual dungeons. Multiple multi-floor dungeons. The, okay, there's one thing I do like. What's that? Uh, when you, um, oh yeah, it's, it's got to do this stupid stuff. When you um, when you hover over one of these places, you're gonna yeah. see a graph over to the right. Yeah, what is that? So that graph is showing off uh the percentages of the nations that own that area. Um, and I'm not a hundred percent certain how that mechanic works, but you can see. R4 uh, has a, a vast majority, um, and that's going to be most places, and those are the bad guys, I'm pretty certain. So and do you have to, like, beat it over and over again in order to take control of it, or it's, what? It's like by doing quests and stuff, you gain influence of the area. Okay. Um, and that's that's all it is. Oh, like a sub... a sub mission, I, th I guess. Yeah. And, uh... So the, all you do is just take a quest, go to the area, do quests. Well, here, too. now you'll get to see a cutscene. Okay. How you feeling already? No voices? Yeah. Just standing there? Seems like they could have had voices. Where should we start to look? Whoa, wait you two, that monster's acting funny. Huh? A monster. As I thought, uh, what's going on? Ha you having fun, Bogs? You having See, I mean, I've had games before where they don't really, where they don't have voice acting, but normally they do something else to supplement it a bit. Here you go. This is a stupid mechanic. Why is it? It's stupid. Not very You're fun. really not explaining anything here. 
I'm just not gonna let you play games that you don't like anymore because you don't explain shit. I don't know what to explain to you though. I'll show, I mean, you'll get to see another cutscene pretty soon, I believe. But... I mean, that's it. I mean, you're, you're better off just using... It's trying to go for the old Xenogears combat system, where you chain hits together as like a combo, and that's it. Now, the combat system does seem very, very boring. Yep. Because the alternation between standing there like an idiot and running up to the enemy until you hit a circle is pretty annoying. Like I said, I think it would have been better off if they'd just gone regular turn-based combat. Because then you're always standing there like an idiot. At least it's consistent. Also, you're leveling up. Yeah. Um, I am used to JRPGs and where you don't have the option to adjust your your Where it stats. just levels you automatically. Yeah. yeah. I'm used to that and that's something I was willing to accept. But in this game, you're given a lot of opportunities to customize stuff and I think that that would have made a nice little touch. There, There's just so many things that they could have shown that they loved about the game and put some care and effort into it, but they never did. kind of how Istoire described it. Why is this one voiced? Rod. What? I... I mean, I don't have an answer for you. What is it? What the fuck is she know. talking about? Whoa. What? Don't bug me. Who the hell do you think you are? R right back at you, mysterious vandal. <laughs> what are you doing to that poor mascot? I mean, there's What some... the fuck's a mascot? What does it look like, idiot? This thing's a pain in Asics' ass, you know? You're a member of Asics? There's some cute dialogue. Not like I'm obligated to show you my ID, but fine. Listen carefully, dorks. I am the most ass-kicking soldier in the R4 Syndicate of International Crime. Linda! Soldier? So, like a fodder character. A peon. An underling. <laughs> underling sounds about right. Nice to meet you, Miss Underling. <laughs> what did you just say? Do you see how this would have made a way that better was... visual novel? Shut up. Get some perspective, Underling. Go back to your base or shed and stay out of our way. You stand out. Miss Underling, it would be very nice if you didn't try to sabotage us. If our opponent is just an Underling, maybe we can handle her. <laughs> You're saying that word too much. I can't take this! I'm pissed off now! You'll regret calling me that! Yeah, what the fuck? This is unreal! How did a low-level peon get- Do you think it has to do with R4 shares? <laughs> Where's your snarky commentary now? That was fast. Okay. I'll waste you- You! The little kid. Eep. No. I'm happy. Watch out! I am oh, there is a really nice thing. They turn into... Good. They kind of go through the whole I Sailor Moon transformation going. process, and that was awesome. Me? Okay. I just don't know when That's you'll get to see that. One. If I you'll get to see that. I suffer in the graveyard for three years. I felt like crap. I don't want to... I made up my mind when we saved you. I... Right, let me just get through this dialogue here. <laughs> the hell's is all... My legs are shaky, but... I definitely will... Your get down to business. We will win! That's the spirit. What? <laughs> huh? Use my strength to kick start it. Hell yeah. <laughs> what? The fuck? CPU? Oh, we didn't actually get to see that transformation scene. Right here, right now. Um, I guess this is a little bit different. All right. Who wants to die first? Not yet. 
but you get three actions though. I'll throw my all into this. Uh, let's do that. I mustn't retreat. I have to keep going. I'll scar that pretty face. Gotcha. Ah, you, you. Wow, you got your ass kicked. Yep. All right, I guess that's that's really bad. Yeah, yeah. It really, really just looks too. like the the uh, combat needed a lot of work. Yeah. If the combat had been either all turn based or all moving around, brawling with each other, it would have been cool. But I see where you're getting from. The combat just is so bad. There's no flow. There's no flow to the combat whatsoever. And that really makes it hard to even care. I think we can. I think uh, we can finish up this video maybe with a uh, yes. Look at all. What the... in the name of? That what was all unlocked that? deals. Oh. oh, this is the beginning of the game, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> See all the potential. I... <laughs> all the potential. <laughs> that I liked. That yeah. was hilarious. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I like a lot of the comment, the the jokes, and the way they talked. You know, it seemed like the characters were really cool. There's good jokes you know? in the game. Yeah, I like the jokes and stuff. But yeah, the combat was just so weak. There was just no point. It's just you know. Now there is a. They did actually make a hyperdimension Neptunia Mark or he Victoria Five or something weird like that. Yeah. They did do that. What was that? Uh, don't know. Now, I was a bit gun bring it up, then. Because that's the newest one, and they may have addressed a lot of the issues that I had with this game. I don't know. They have to change the core gameplay. Which, which mind you, this game was made... So the first Hyperdimension Neptunia Mark yeah. 1 was really, really bad. That bad? Yeah, but they it sold well enough that they said, let's just remake it and make it proper. So this is really just a hodgepodge of the first pile of shit, you know? <laughs> so, the fifth one, or not fifth one, but V or whatever, Victory, may actually be kind of okay. I, I don't know. And I'm a big gunshot, to be honest with you. I mean, I like the designs. I love the visual of it. Yeah. The visual designs are great. And that's why you want to buy it at GameStop when you see it. Yeah, they really... It's just boring to play. Oh, their world is called Game, and, game Industry. Gamin. Gam Gamindustry. Yeah. 20 <laughs> That's cute. Shops are boarded up. Creators are overworked and starving. And death looms over all game industry. Now. This should be amazing. However, right. This game should be awesome. Yeah. In years past, the deserted lands of game industry were known as the realm of chaos. Since the advent of ASIC, the R4 Syndicate of International Crime, morality has all but vanished. As much as 80% of all students are rumored to worship the being known as R4. Parents, knowing this a poor object to worship, went ahead and taught their children to do so. <laughs> the government turned a blind eye instead of crushing this crisis in its infancy. Thus, game industry fell into complete and utter disarray. The citizens have come to accept all of the corruption as normal. They take no issue with acquiring items illegally. Those who were victims of this mentality became exhausted and were sent to wander the game industry graveyard forever. Compa and Aya are now experiencing that very thing. Welcome to the game industry graveyard. It's talking about piracy, it's talking about Call of Duty. Yeah, I got that bit. I mean, it... Why is this not great? Thank you. Why is this not great? Thank you, and, and it could be that I've just built myself up to expect it and got his poor out I mean, of it instead. I like you said, maybe the story's not that good, I don't know. You know more about the story than I do. But yeah, the gameplay definitely needed work. If they just had done a simple, fun gameplay mechanic, then this would be pretty darn good. But yeah, now it's just... This is the game industry I, I don't know. We're it's all this here. cute character, great character. Honestly, I want to watch yeah. the, um, the, the cutscenes of this whole game. I know. That's what I want to do. I, I want to go off saying. and watch all the cutscenes and not have to actually play the game. A visual novel of this would make would be the best way they could have done this. Very possibly. Um, Though I don't like visual novels. But well, I still think you should have been able to run around and stuff. Whoa. 
but uh, interesting. There are a lot of really provocative 2D. Characters. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> and the first time she transformed, the other girl makes and kisses her in order to trigger yeah. her transformation. Yes, geez, it's true. I thought that there I was love a transformation. Compa. I like Kampa so much. I want to just see what happens to her, but I don't want to play that shitty combat system. There, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of other characters too. I just, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, it, you haven't gotten far enough to see them. That's the way JRPGs are. They populate with a bunch of characters that you meet along the way. It's a crystallization of people's faith. So, I guess you're right. All right, Kampa. Let's find our friends and drag them back home if we have to. Yes, ma'am. It seems like it would be so good. I'm, I'm honestly like hyped, but I know that it's gonna suck now. Yeah, yeah. that and really, I mean, really is annoying. Yeah, I know. I'm actually, I getting where I wanna, you're coming from. It's weird because I just want to keep showing the game, and I. This is a weird. No point. This is a weird first look because it weird. is watching a train wreck of a puppy. It's watching a puppy transform into a train and wreck. Yeah. And you have to watch it, but you know, you know that it's lovely. And it's just, there's just so much pain here. Never seen a puppy transform this, into this a This is an old, this is an old girlfriend who ended up making a lot of money after you left her. In a really successful job. Because you look back at it more Man, fondly they love that, that you remember. Man, that 2D art stuff. Hell yeah, what's wrong with it? <laughs> That's jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> you just have to throw the jiggles in there, don't they? This is a horrible way to keep hostages. <laughs> the internet. Well, the internet away. would keep hostages like that. So. I guess that wraps this one up. Yeah, monologues. I I hate watching this, honestly, because it makes me want to play it, and the gameplay is boring and repetitive. So I don't want to play it. I really just yeah, I really just want to watch all the cutscenes and see the storyline, which is never a good point for a game. Yep. It means there was a lot of good ideas, but none of them got put into the gameplay, and that's just terrible. I like this guy. He's badass. All the design is cool. The designs are all great. The visuals are great for it. If they just given the visuals to somebody else to make a better gameplay mechanic, this could be amazing. I know. So, no. and that's but what, I will get back that's to you kind of on how you mentioned Neptunia Victoria or whatever. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe well, maybe that's good. I don't know. Yeah. I hope it's good. Course. I'd love it to be good. Um, but yeah, this has been Hyper Dimension Neptunia uh, Mark II. I gotta keep checking the, the box. Um, yeah, fucking. I'm disappointed, and I've only been watching it as long as you guys have. <laughs> I want this to be great, but. Yeah, and the thing with the gameplay is like, it's just dull and has no flow, and nobody wants to do that, you know, for hours at a time. Yeah, you know, that's the key to all game to, to games, is how fun the gameplay is, and no matter how good a story you have, you don't have good gameplay, you don't have a game. You have a book. Yep. So, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up here, because I'm, I'm sick of watching this and wanting this, wanting to know what happens to these characters. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Uh, like if you like this video, subscribe for some more. Maybe the other one's a really fucking amazing game. I'd love it to be. If it is, we'll let you know. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. That I have are the you ability... to, like, pet her? Yes, oh, you Jesus are. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs>